pollination mechanism in moringa honey bees increase the rate of pollination indirectly increasing the yield of drumstick by 18 to 20% the plant is highly cross pollinated due to heteromorphic and is entomophilous bees being the pollinators emasculation is done in the previous day's evening usually pollination is done the next morning prior to 11 am before pollination stigmatic surface of the female flower should be checked for the presence of self or foreign pollen flowers bagged prior to opening in order to avoid contamination either pollen is collected from the flower or the flower is used as such for pollination pollen collection is needed for later pollination pollen can be collected for large quantity for large scale pollination or for later pollination in moringa pollen is accumulated in keel petal which can be squeezed out of the keel and transferred to the stigma pollen can be stored safely for later use for a few days under dry room conditions irrigation or water management irrigation at timely intervals desired quantity and at appropriate place is very important for drumstick cultivation irrigation must be done as small amount but frequently over irrigation creates huge losses in drumstick cultivation the roots become inactive and increase the incidences of fungal diseases irrigation may be carried out by two methods conventional method flood irrigation comes under conventional method of irrigation this method consumes more water than the requirement of the plant since large quantity of water is required to irrigate soil rather than plant the water requirement is highly depends on porosity of soil in this method plant suffers from either by water stress or over water drip irrigation drip irrigation is an advanced method of irrigation where water is provided at timely intervals desired quantity and an appropriate place by that way drip irrigation is the only method that fulfills the water requirement and avoids losses selection of drip system from drumstick plants type online drip system is recommended for low density plantation however either inline or online drip system is recommended for high density plantation discharge 4 liters per hour number of laterals single or double number of drippers or plant 1 1 by 2 distance between two drippers varies on plant to plant distance weekly irrigation in summers and during winters at fortnightly intervals is recommended in light soil the irrigation may be given at an interval of 7 to 10 days while in black cotton heavy soil an interval of 10 to 15 days may be maintained the average annual water requirement through drip irrigation is 20 cm Drip irrigation helps to save 50% on irrigation and 65% when sugarcane trash mulch is used. It also helps to increase the yield by 30 to 35%.